Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest XI Ultimate Walkthrough. So now we are heading to Mount um, Fuji. So if you don't remember how to get there, we're going to teleport to Haru and then we're going to leave the area and run over to the mountain. Now we already uh, unlocked the cutscene and talked to the lady that we had to talk to during a different episode. So now we're going to actually start the Mount Fuji quest right, uh, right now. We're actually should be coming close to an end of act two by now so let's and let's let's cross this bridge here and right to our right here is is uh mount fuji so we'll go up these steps and then we're gonna enter that secret passage from before then the secret passage we make a turn this way and you can see the pink speech bubble is already there for you so you know where to you'll know where to find it and it was right through this door Okay, so let's go up that ladder, and here we go. Let's begin. Okay, Mount Fuji. Uh, we got these guys in our beastery already. I don't know about these uh, jellies. Wait, what was that? Was that a metal? It looked like a metal jelly. I think we got those already. I think I got these guys already, but I'm gonna kill them anyway. Okay. There we go. So we have no sparky spots here, but I think we, we might... I'm just gonna keep a lookout for treasure chests just in case. There might be... there might be any. I don't know if there's any in this area, but maybe the next area. Okay, so it doesn't appear there's anything in this area, so let's just continue forward. You guys can upgrade your beast, your beastry here if you haven't already. A dead end, it seems. All twists and turns exhausted. The path leads nowhere. Oof. Well, it's a shame and all, but how about we get out of here? I don't know about you, but I'm sweating like a... <gasps> what in the world was that? It didn't sound good, whatever it was. Tatsunaga, the beast Miko spoke of. But did she not claim to have slain it? This is her secret. She did not beat the dragon. She left it to live. That liar, that cheat. Mother will not die for this. Miko must be stopped. Let us hurry back. The people deserve to know. The truth must be told. Okay, so we have to teleport back to Haru and talk to Miko about this monster here. Okay, so we're just gonna head all the way straight up to uh, Miko's shrine. And we have to tell her about the, the monster, which is the Tatsunga, I believe it's called. So we're running all the way up these stairs here and, and go into the shrine again. Be still, Atsuo. You must be like a spring breeze, not a howling gale. I will not be still. I will howl it to heaven. Tatsunaga lives! <gasps> what nonsense he speaks. Tatsunaga is no more. Miko told us so. No! The creature lives! It roars and howls in its lair, loud as the mountain. <sighs> You lie, wretched child! A beast blocks the way upward you could not have passed! Ha! I am the beast! The unholy fiend you feared? Me and my sister! What? 
We took our mother and sought to keep you from her with a bold disguise. Idiot children! Your games will see us all killed by the mountain's rage! Ha! Why believe you? You whose tales of bold conquest were naught but hot air. The beast was not slain. You gave away our futures to save your own skin. Snake, devil, spider. You seek not sacrifices. You seek dragon food. Your scheme lies exposed. Your bargain with the dragon will not save you now. And what of you? hmm? The son who fought beside you. Was his soul sold too? Enough! <gasps> Hush, mewling kitten. What do you know of the truth? Of sacrifices? <laughs> Can it truly be? The dragon's death a facade? Dislodged by the breeze? If so, why all this? Why sate the mountain's anger? We die anyway. Silence! The dragon is gone. My beloved son slew him and paid with his life. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> now, meddling brat, test the mountain's wrath no more. You risk all our lives. Bring forth your mother. The flames burn ever stronger while our time grows short. You shall not have her! I see through your web of lies. Accursed spider! <gasps> no! That's raw! Come! Quickly! Tsunaga! You! See? The dragon lives! Miko, she gave us to him! He will eat us all! <laughs> Teddy, fire! Again! Stop! Stay your weapons! Though this may seem a dragon, it is but a boy! <gasps> Mistress Miko! To sate your hunger, I give up my mortal form. The fox feeds her cub. No! Mistress Miko! Quickly! Fire! He will kill us all! Fate hangs by a thread. We must fight fire with cold steel. You must face the beast. <clears throat> okay guys, so let's go down here and save our game before we fight the beast in the center of town here. So we're just gonna head all the way down. Right back to the center of town. Um, one second here. Is there a way around? I think I can avoid it. I should be able to save first. Okay, so we can avoid we can avoid the beast and save our game. Okay, so make sure your characters are all healed up and let's take down Tatsunaga. Yes, I wanna battle it. You saw it swallow the priestess. Be on your guard. <laughs> so 
so I have two characters pent up in battle here. Um, none of them are flashing, which means... Which means I don't have to use any cat powers right now. So with the main hero, I'm just gonna start off with... I'm gonna try and put this, this thing to sleep here. Might be a bad idea. Yeah, I should probably just use Sword Dance or something. Okay, and I'm gonna use Umfall with on uh, Eric here. Boost him up. And now I'm playing as Henrik. Yeah, I got Henrik back in my party. For this move right here, baby, a series of six unstoppable swings on leech on a single enemy. So let's use the cut above. Watch how strong this one is. Uh, it's not bad. I think it's better than multi-burst though. Uh, I don't know if that's the strongest one. I think he has a stronger one. Anyways, let me try a sleeper hit here. Night, night. Mm, not effective. I'm gonna try Kiss Me Deadly here. I wanna say I can poison him. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna try a sword dance here. I missed one. That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna double up Hedrick so he gets more powerful. This is a pretty easy boss fight. Hopefully, uh, it gets harder. But I think it's almost dead. So, at this point, I am going to use... Let me see, is it almost... It is almost dead, actually. Hmm... Okay, let me see, sleep right in here. And we got to sleep. Well... I'm going to use a... I'm going to use boom. Free damage. Okay. Eric is still pepped up, so that's good. Now... I'm gonna accelerate, or actually I want to decelerate the boss here. Or actually I should use sap, maybe. No, I missed him. Well, I'm gonna heal up Eric. With Henrik. <laughs> Not bad, actually. I didn't expect him to heal that much. And we'll go divide. Probably a waste of a turn, maybe, because... I don't know if I'll be able to use Persecutor after this, but... Uh, maybe, it's possible, maybe if I use Accelerate on Her Eric? He's still fast asleep? Okay, great. So let's boom, and then we'll finish him off with Eric. Or... Finish him off with magic, I guess. Huh. Victory! Whatever works, I guess. But it would have been nice. I wouldn't. Oh, Eric would have done so much damage if I would have got a turn with him. The beast flees, chastened. Dust settles. Sunlight returns! The village is saved! <sighs> the bitter truth dawns. Day breaks. It's light, harsh, cruel. First Ryu, now Miko. The lion's taken from us. Only sheep remain. Did you see her trying to protect that thing before it ate her? What was that about, huh? Who can know her mind? The sun of her heart eclipsed. Treachery blinds her. But one thing is clear. Until its flame is smothered, the beast is a threat. Tatsunaga's lair, at the heart of the mountain, Reached by the great gate. It must be unlocked. Miko's maid. She has the key. Come now, to the shrine. Okay, so let's head right back up to the shrine. And this time we're going to be able to enter an area that was previously, uh, previously not available to us because of Miko. So we'll enter right through here, and I think it was right in the back, or was this it? No, it was right in the back. Okay, so let's go around. And I think it was this door right here that was always blocked.
are the gods so cruel? To pile like rocks upon her, burden on burden. We came for the key. The one for the mountain gate. There, the dragon waits. With Mika's light gone, yours is the only glimmer. Take it. It is yours. Come, we have the key. Clouds part. The way ahead clears. The end is at hand. Hmm. Wait. Hmm? You must know the truth. It sleeps between these pages. Wake it. Make it yours. Looks like a diary of some kind. Must be Miko's. My sins rend my heart. I must confess them or scream. Thus I record them. The battle was fierce. At last the dragon lay prone. My son drew his sword. But then, like a fog, blackness rose from the dragon. Poor Yu was smothered. I carried him home. He tried to fight the darkness, but the night prevailed. The beast had cursed him. Pain racked my poor boy's body. I watched his form change. He was a dragon. I had to hide him away. Pretend he was dead. <gasps> Can her words be true? Not Tatsunaga, but Ryu. This is who we fought? Hey, don't interrupt, honey. I want to hear how it ends. Could he be restored? A storm of doubts assailed me. But then the skies cleared. The magic mirror in which true forms are revealed. This might save my son. Alas, the mirror neither revealed nor restored. Though I tried and tried, my son's hunger grew. The hunger of the dragon for the flesh of men. It burns like hot sun. The agony of knowing. The choice that I make. But my son must live till I master the mirror I wear by my heart. Thus have I chosen. Though others' lives are squandered, my boys must be saved. Ugh, oh, it's a tragic tale. The poor woman, torn between her child and her people, it's a choice you wouldn't wish on anybody. Maybe if we could get our hands on that mirror she mentioned, we might have more luck with it than she did. But Miko is gone. The magic mirror with her. The light of hope fades. You cannot be saved. Only the creature remains. You must forget him. Mother devourer! Peril! Foul scourge! Murderer! The beast must be slain! Yes, the time has come. Meet me on the western path, before the great gate. Okay, so before we head out here, let's examine this cabinet and get a mini meadow. There's also a book here. I don't know if it's a recipe or if it's just a normal book. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so it's just a normal book to read if you like. And that's about it. So now we can head right back to the um, Mount Hunji. Because now that we have the mountain key, we can enter the northern gate. So let's he head all the way back to Mount Fuji. 
Um, I'm going to reset it in and save my game before I head there. Okay, so here I am. I'm Mountain Huji. I just got back here. Just entered it, the mountain again, and I'm just going all the way straight this time. So that we can open this gate. A warm welcome face, like the spring after winter. Throw open the gate. I must see the end of the dragon and his tail. I must come with you. Okay, so we have some new enemies here. We can feel free to take them on for the beastery. There is no new sparkly boss or anything. Okay, so once you've finished uh, getting your beastery here, so we have a way to go here, and this is, I think this is where we came from. So we can, let's enter through here. And this is a new area here now. Okay, okay, so we do have one sparkly spot here. And we're gonna also have some treasure chests, so let's keep heading around. Let's keep heading forward. Uh, upgrading our beastry while we head head forward. I think I got those buddy hands already, so... I got this guy already. I know that. Okay, I don't want to head down just yet. I just want to keep exploring around here. I'm gonna avoid this guy. Go here and grab this rocky spot. The one and only rocky spot up here. That's firewood, so let's go all the way down. And make our way all the way, all the way down. I got these guys already. Watch out for this fire here. Mm, I don't remember if I got- Oh, this is definitely a new enemy. Okay, I'm gonna encounter these guys. And it came with the uh, metal muddy hand, which is good. I'm gonna go after that thing first because- of Oh no, it fl fleed. That would have been 34,400 experience if I were if it didn't flee. Oh well. Oh well, it is what it is, I guess. Okay. Hopefully there's like a camp fire or something in here. So I can... Um, rest up and save my game here. Okay, that thing's sleeping. Nice. Defend. I want to attack with Eric here. Persecutor. Oh no, these things have lots of HP, wow. I mean, not lots of, lots of HP, but lots of defense, so I'm gonna have to use like a critical hit. Okay, let's tr see if I can get a critical hit off. Yes, okay, good. That's what I like about Sword Dance. Each strike has a chance to get a critical hit. Oh, there's a new enemy. Bomb Boulders. I'm gonna use Giga Smash to get rid of these guys. There we go. So there's, there's just one enemy here that I haven't got yet. Uh, trying to avoid these guys. Grab this rocky spot here. That's another firewood. Huh. Are they all firewood? Seems like they're all firewood. Oh, here's a treasure chest, I see. all the way on the other side there. Um, we can get that if we go all the way around. But let's get this one here first. Okay, that's gonna give us a fireball. And we're gonna go around and avoid these guys. Oh, I see what I have to do. Okay, I need this thing. And we have to break that boulder with this thing. And it came with two muddy hands. Okay, so this is a really good area for grinding on these metal muddy hands. Bitch. Critical. I'm gonna go after this one. You're All right, open. buddy. Thank you for the experience. <laughs> Thirty-four thousand, baby. Easy XP. Now I'll get rid of this clown. And will you sword dance? When? Oh, uh, oh, it killed it. Yeah, nice. Okay, good. Huh? Oh, level up. Easy. Level fifty-six. A frizz. 10 skill point. Oh, Serena's level 52. Okay. Okay, now that we got the mount here, let's break this thing. Smash it. And we're immune to fire while on this thing as well. Okay, so let's go ahead, break this boulder, grab our chest here. And that's the mini metal. Okay, so there's. A, let's go around here. Oh, come on, critical hit. 
critical hit. So Vondel never gets criticals. However, Henrik has a critical hit move. Oh, let's try Sword Dance first. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna use Henrik's critical hit move, which is called... It's called Hatchet Man. Let's see if it hits. There we go, I did. Oh, Jade, level 53. Okay, so let's go all the way around here, make a right turn. And grab this treasure chest right here now. Sage's Elixir. Whoa, there's the Tasunga again. Okay, so now I'm going back here. Running over these guys. And I'm just gonna go all the way around. Here's the boulder right here. Okay, let's smash this boulder open and now we're gonna have this chest here. And that's a fireball. Now we'll go all the way up here. And here's another boulder that we have to break. And we'll grab Magma Staff of this one. So this is a good staff for Serena if you want to buff up her mag magical might some more. Because her magical mending might is already really good already as it is. So if you like having Serena on your party over Rab, then you'll probably want to give her the staff. Okay, so now we're gonna go all the way back down to the very, very bottom here. Okay, so I'm at, I'm at the very bottom here where we saw Tatsunga over here. Because this time we're gonna battle it. Now, I don't know how low HP or anything you guys are, but if you're, if you're really low MP and HP, and you want to leave the dungeon to heal up, then you should do that because it looks like we're, we're about to get into another boss fight here. So, just keep that in mind. I'm going to... I'm going to use a Sage's Elixir on Eric. And now we're gonna proceed up. <gasps> Is this really him? The man who once fought for good, reborn as a beast. Once kind as the sun, once gentle as the spring breeze. Now he burns, rages. For our dear home's sake, I would gladly give my life. He said this to me. He must be released. For Hotto's sake, and for his, please end this sadness. Okay, so here we go. Battle time. What am I gonna do? I am going to try divide first. Now this thing was susceptible to sleep, but we'll see what we'll see what we can do. I'm going to try Umfo on Eric here first. Divide Eric, and with the main hero, I'll try snooze, even though it usually does not work. Oh my god. Oh no, oh, Eric is down. And Henrik is losing HP fast. Okay, we have to double Eric up. We'll double him up, and then we're gonna heal now. When I have the chance. So I'm gonna use Hustle Dance. God, Eric's. Henrik is getting. His butt kicked here. Alright, so we're just gonna say screw snooze. I think I'm just gonna try sword dance. Nice. Oh, one of them failed. Or missed. We're gonna go a cut above here. We should do a lot of damage. There we go. One of them missed, but that's fine. Oh no! He hit a critical on Eric. Henrik. Oh shit. Ah! Miss me, bitch. And I wasted all my turns with Eric here. Let's try a sleeper hit. See if we can make him sleep. No. Well, you know what that means. We're gonna have to hustle dance. 
And I'm gonna have to revive. I'm gonna have to revive Fenric with someone. Taking off the main hero. Show you how it's done. And we're gonna divide. Actually, I'm gonna try super hit. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try divide next. I just wanna get um, Hedrick back up. Okay, I'm gonna try hustle dance. Keep the party uh, healthy while I try to revive Hedrick here. So I'm gonna use Zin, Zin Stick. Guarantees a revive. And... Yeah, I think I'm good for another hustle dance. And then with Eric, I plan on using Divide. Alright, so Divide. And with Buddy here, I'm gonna try Snooze first. Actually, no, I wanna take him out, but... Let me try Snooze. See if I can put him to sleep. Mm. Eric is down again? Oh my god. Ugh. Really? Okay. Double up. And hustle dance. Oh, come on. How fast is this guy, really? Okay, I cut above. Nice. And we'll go with multi heal here. Actually, I should switch Rabble for Serena. Eric got another wasted turn. He keeps wasting his turns because he keeps getting shocked. Kind of annoying. There we go. Alright, let's uh, umfo Eric. I plan on healing with Rab. So multi heal again. I want to switch out Rab as soon as I can. As soon as I see a good opportunity to. We'll use the cut above again, because we're already fucked up still. Okay. Here we go. Sleeper hit. Nice. And he and we got the sleep. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now you know what that means. We are going to spells. And we're gonna accelerate Eric further. And I think I'm just gonna go with Persecutor here. It might be a risky fight. Oh no! I was gonna go with Persecutor, but he... This boss is too fast. You don't have a chance. Okay. Well... I think I'm good to switch out this character, I think. Okay, I'm gonna switch out Rab for the main hero. And we'll use Cut Above. And I'm gonna try Edge of Sleep here. Should guarantee a sleep with him. Nice. It's dead. Even better. <laughs> we did it, darlings! Like the look of this. Hmm. 
mirror now mastered. The season of the beast ends. That of peace begins. I am free at last. I shed my shell of torment and walk in the sun. The mirror's power, though great, could not show the truth. That truth lay within. With it inside me, at last the miasma cleared. The curse was broken. One question remains. How did the mirror get there? What brought the out in? Um. Mm -hmm. Alas, time grows short. My spirit ebbs like the tide. I drift from life's shore. that all is now well, I die happily. I ask only this. Tell my mother I love her. I await her there. When first we came here, Rage burned in me at Miko, at her treachery. But though she did wrong, she did it with good reason, or so she believed. She loved her son Ryu, just as we love our mother, as the fox its cubs. <sighs> now to the village. Sun shines on Hotto once more. We must share the news. At last we are saved. Your courage is as boundless as the starry skies. <laughs> Can you forgive us? To condone your sacrifice brought eternal shame. The past is buried. A new season greets us all. A season of sun. How can the sun shine on a village whose people drift now, rudderless? We believed in lies trusted one who betrayed us. Who now will guide us? Uh, are grown-ups not supposed to be able to think for themselves? The dragon is gone. For this, we thank our friends here, but Miko the most. Though she betrayed us, we only live thanks to her. Our breath is her gift. To sacrifice us must have burned hotter than fire. We must forgive her. A new dawn awaits. We must make our own future. She died that we might. <laughs> they do not need to know the whole truth. They have seen tragedy enough. The people of Hotto must rely on themselves now and Atsuko and I will make sure they do. Hmm. 
Even unlocked. Hot Pepper, awarded for joining forces with your friends to perform 50 pet powers. Tasunaga Terminator, awarded for defeating the dragon Tasunaga, saving the village of Huddle and opening the door to a new and brighter future for its people. Okay, so let's go to Miko's shrine here. There we go. Okay, so we received their crucible key. So make sure you talk to this lady inside the room, inside the back room of Miko Shrine to get the crucible key. Once you get that key, we're gonna zoom right back to Haru. We're gonna leave Haru and go right to Mount Huji, the northern gate. Okay, here I'm at Mount Huji again. I'm we're just gonna go all the way straight again where the northern gate was. And this time we're gonna take a different path now that we have the crucible key. So let's go through the northern gate and this time we're gonna go around and up here. Because there's a gate that we couldn't access here before with, without the key. So now we can access it. Use crystal key? Yes. Okay. Well, there's no sparky spots or anything. Let's just uh, go all the way forward and see where this, where this leads us now. Beautiful! This is the place we saw in the vision. I'd know that decor anywhere. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's make a new sword of light so we can go chop the Lord of Shadows down to size. Uh -huh. hmm. Hmm. Okay, so this is the last thing that we have to do here. All we have to do is go forward now. Examine this. And let's forge the Sword of Light. Take it from here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. I'm not about to let you steal all the glory, honey. If you get to have a go, we all do. Aye. And besides, we saw in the vision that the old heroes all had a bash. We'd best follow their lead, eh? Yep. We're all in this together. May the new Sword of Light be tempered by the resolve of all those who would drive darkness from this world. <laughs> well, I'm game if you all are. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> 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 If I hadn't met you, 
I'd never have been able to save Mia and make things right. Now it's my turn to help you. Haha! <laughs> 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 Let's get this sword made and the world saved! I've got people to entertain and a promise to my puppy to keep. <laughs> Eleanor, Erwin, your boy turned out all right. And now I'm gonna help make sure he fulfills his destiny. I thought it was my job to stand behind the Luminary. It's not. I'm supposed to stand beside him. We all are. I hereby pledge, as a knight of Heliodor, to fight to the end for the cause of the Luminary. May I be his sword, his shield, his unswerving companion. Veronica, I promise to finish this without you. I'm stronger now, thanks to you. For the Luminary! Ah, uh, did we do it? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Pick that thing up and give it a swing. are assembled. You have the means to take to the air, and now you possess the Sword of Light. The time to face the Lord of Shadows is at hand. What he said. Let's finish this. Achievement unlocked. Ready as will ever be. A warrior for reforging the Sword of Light with the help of your friends and setting out with it to see the Lord of Shadows doubled. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to end this playthrough here. I don't want to go any further. Alright guys, so I'm gonna end this episode here. And in the next episode, we're actually not gonna be doing the Fortress of Fear yet. Because I want to check out the Wheel of Harma first. I know that's something that we can do post-game to, to complete to complete it but I might do some of it right now maybe or I might just jump right to the for for uh or I might just jump right to the fortress of fear and just do the whole entire wheel of armor in in post game but I'll, I'll figure it all out after so I'll see you in the next episode and thanks for watching <laughs>